Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Jess Run It. I'm Jess and I run it. And OMG was the Valencia Marathon this morning. Amazing. Saving the best for last, yes. Yes, they did. It was incredible. I literally thought, oh yeah, can the marathons really get any better? Tokyo was great, Boston was stellar, Berlin was fantastic. We saw a world record and a national record there. And then um, London was really good. New York was just amazing a couple weeks ago. And now we have Valencia that actually topped all of that. Okay, I'll start with the men's race. The men's race was won by Kelvin Kiptum. Yes, Kelvin Kiptum, his first marathon ever. He won Valencia in a time of 2.01.54, making him only the third person ever to run 2.01. Who are the other two people? Ken Anissa Bekele and Elliot Kipchoge. He's joined a very exclusive club. Actually, after the race, a reporter asked him, like, so like you've run 201, are you ready to race Kipchoge now? He was like, no, not yet. <laughs> like, <laughs> don't get crazy, Kipchoge is still on another level. Um, even though in this race, Kelvin did run the fastest second half of a marathon ever, 60 minutes and 15 seconds, even faster than Kipchoge's 60 minutes and 33 seconds, which was the previous um, fastest second half of a race. And second was Gabrielle G from Tanzania. He lowered his Tanzania national record by two minutes. And in third place was Alexander Mutiso, who was also running his very first marathon. Um, when Kelvin broke away at like around 30K, the lead group was him, um, Alexander no, no, him, Tamara Tola, and Gabrielle G. But Tola faded to fourth, and um, Mutiso finished really, really strong to nab that third spot. So really good. An interesting thing is that um, Alexander Mutiso and Kelvin Kiptum both have really fast half marathon times. It was their first time running a marathon, and they did really, really well. Half marathon performances don't always correlate to marathon performances, but for them it did. So super, super happy for them running their first marathon. I got to see it. Did not think I was gonna see a 201 today, and that makes me so, so, so excited. Actually, the top four men all finished under 204, and that's only happened one other time. When? At Valencia. Valencia is where fast times happen. Weather's great, course is flat. It was a perfect day, and it was may have been an even more perfect day in the women's race, because the winner, Amani Bariso, ran 214.58. She's in the 214 club now with Bridget Cosguy and Ruth Chepengedich. Third fastest time ever. I know a lot of people expected Latessa Betgide to win. Um, she had a lot of press leading up to this event. She already holds four world records. So it's like, hey, yeah, what's another one? What's another win? She doesn't really lose. She's coming off um, a world championship gold and just a really fantastic year. And she ran the fastest debut of all time, finishing second in um, 216.51. So not a bad race for her at all. You know, um, afterwards she was asked like, you know, what happened at 35K? You know, you started slowing down. She said, uh, I got tired. <laughs> Tends to happen when you've been running your heart out for 35 kilometers. She got tired and around 36 kilometers, Amani realized she was slowing down and she just took off. Unfortunately, none of the pacemakers went with her, so she had to run um, alone um, for the rest of the marathon. And she says that if um, at least one pacemaker had come with her, she thinks she could have gotten closer to the world record, but they all kind of hung back and stayed with G'day. In third place was Sheila Chepkarui, finishing off her year really, really strong. She actually finished second at the Kenyan Trials this year in the 10,000 meters, but she wasn't able to go to the World Championships because she was having issues with her visa. She did come away with a bronze in the 10,000s at the Commonwealth Games, but running her first uh, marathon, 217.29, is really, really, really good, setting her up super strong for next year, whether she goes back to the track or runs another marathon, super, super good debut. And um, the fourth place finish Finisher, Tadu Teishome took six minutes off her personal best to also run 217. So man, that women's race was stellar. Super, super exciting. And also, cannot forget Sinead Diver. Fastest marathon ever by a woman age 45 or over. She ran 221.34 to set the Australian national record at age 45. She was born in 1977. Okay, like, she didn't run her first marathon until she was 37. 
and she keeps getting better and she's still getting better past the point where I'm sure people were looking at her like, yeah, you know, the, you know, you're 224, you ran in London a couple years ago. It's probably the best you're going to do. Like you're only getting older. And she's like, yeah, I'm only getting older and better. So boss up to her. Super, super inspiring. And Valencia, it's happening in Spain. We must end with the new Spanish national record that was set by Marta Galimani. Yes, that Spanish record she lowered. It was um, formerly belonged to Ana Alonso, set all the way back in 19, 1996, 26 years ago, and she broke it. Broke it by a couple seconds, but she broke it. And Marta Galimani is the new Spanish national record holder in the city of Valencia in Spain. What a beautiful marathon. And all of the people in the mass race that came behind these beautiful performances made for just an amazing start to the morning. I am like invigorated for next year. I'm invigorated for the rest of this year. Valencia, I, I was having the happiest morning. Like I watched the race and I'm like, this is a great day. I want to start my day with a marathon like this every day. But until next year and until next time when I see you guys, as I always say, it's only impossible until it happens.